Hey everybody, welcome back, and we are going to get on with this again. I think we might just be able to wrap this up today. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to try. Incoming message from the Admiral, Captain. Ah, yes, sir. Docking sequence Welcome back, initiated. Captain. Our final assault on the Alioth system is ready. We've assembled a battle group with which we intend to seize control of the system. You will lead this mission, Captain. When you are prepared, take your battle group to the Alioth system. Reconnaissance has learned that the Cardassians have moved Litvaknor, a fully armed battle station, over Alioth 6 to protect the crash site where you located the alien device. Your task is to eliminate the station and destroy or drive off any Cardassian vessels in the system. You can expect heavy resistance. It is also imperative that you re-establish contact with Commander Data on the surface. He may have learned valuable information about the device, provided he was able to survive this long. We must retake Alioth and discover why the Cardassians want that device so badly. Our hopes are with you. Good luck. All ships, this is the Sovereign. Good to see We're you ready again, to Sovereign. Move out. The Geronimo is hailing us. On screen. When we pluck his horse out from under the Cardis, Commander Data will owe us all a round of drinks. And none of that replicated sent the hall, neither. You guys always talk about drinking. I mean, seriously, dude. And by the way, who the fuck died and made you captain? Telling yes, we're Captain. We're ready to go. We're ready to go when I fucking say we are. Channel open. Spot. It's good to hear from you, Captain. Our allies aren't too chatty. Channel open. I'm with you till the bitter end. Channel open. I'm with you till the bitter end. Give it one more try. At one point, he start, He tells at least a couple of jokes. Channel open. I'm with you till the bitter either. end. Okay, well, whatever. There's a, a Klingon and Romulan ships, but they won't say shit to you, so whatever. Course laid in. Actually, uh, let's see. Yes, here. Captain. Changing torpedo load. Captain. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. <clears throat> Remember, Alien 6 is where they found a device. Looks as if they were expecting us. I have a Cardassian battle group moving to intercept yes, us from Alioff 6. Litvok Nor is going to be tough enough to tackle without having to deal with them. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Yes, sir. Captain, red I have alert, the station shields on up. Sensors. Cardassian ships moving to intercept. Yes, Captain. We should be wary of Litvak Nor. It's equipped with disruptors, even stronger yes, than Captain? those of the resupply station. The Cardassians from Aliath 8 are tailing us. Yes, sir. Add in the battle station and its defenders, and this is going to be a tough fight. We should have dealt with them before coming here. Can we lead them off again? If it has disruptors, why isn't it using them? They're not even charged. Maybe they ran out of juice. Miguel, can you locate Moving Commander Moving into attack Data? range. Trying. Negative, Commander. That planet is besieged by ionic storms with highly toxic levels of gaseous magnetite to boot. Kiska, direct a broadcast hail at the planet. Aye, Commander. Uh, Sovereign please. to Commander Data. Captain, Litvak Nor is jamming our communications directed at the planet. Miguel, Brex, solutions? Well, if you give me a few hours, Sweeping I can conduct through a detailed arcs. analysis on the phase interference of the station's... Or we could just destroy the base. I like that idea. Sir, our forward torpedo launcher is not responding. Brex, what happened? It looks like a trickle of plasma from the torpedo we just launched ignited. 
Our forward torpedo launcher has taken heavy damage from the torpedoes afterwash. I think the lab tests on the phase plasma torpedoes were an The chance of plasma seepage igniting is more like 10%. Switching I'll to note photon that in torpedoes, my report Captain. To Admiral Liu. Moving into attack range. Yeah. Yes, sir? We got a little beat up, so obviously that's going to take a trip to the star base to fix. Yes, Captain. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Falling back for an attack run. We got pretty good repair crews because they are fixing that shit really fast. I really hate how the the how the uh, AI pilot lining ship. up forward torpedo tubes. Pilots your ship over to an area where their shields are still strong. It's like, come on, you knocked a hole in the shields, use it. Falling back for an attack run. Moving into attack range. Target hull integrity at 75%. Falling back for an attack run. Moving into attack range. Captain, I'm receiving a new contact. It's the Enterprise. Woo, how useful. Incoming message from the Enterprise, sir. On screen. I'm sorry we couldn't join you earlier. Our ship seems to be a very popular target. Sir, so more Cardassian ours, ships appear. are on an intercept yes, I course. Can see that. The Sovereign is making quite a name for herself in this sector. Have you established contact with Commander Data yet? It's been a little I'm busy. afraid not, sir. We've been unable to locate his communicator signal, and to Lining complicate up forward matters, torpedo the station is blocking our hails to the planet. Then our first priority should be to eliminate the station. I will contact you when that is done. The card out. The Cardassian base has been destroyed, sir. Captain, the Cardassians are retreating. Incoming message from the Disengaging. Enterprise, sir. Yes, sir. Hi, Captain. On screen. Captain. Good work, Sovereign. Cancel now we red can alert. Commander Data. The planet's atmospheric conditions are quite harsh. Could Data have survived this long by himself? One thing I've learned, Captain, Commander, is that Data is remarkably resourceful. Captain. The real question becomes not did Your he orders, survive, Captain. but is he still on this planet? Standard order. The ionic storms make Aye, that sir. impossible to determine, sir. I get sensor echoes and all kinds of distortions. We just can't trust the readings we're getting. My chief engineer concurs with that assessment. However, we have an idea on how to locate him. Data's positronic brain has a subspace transceiver that can Entering pick up narrowband transmissions tuned to the correct amplitude. The transceiver should receive your transmission through the storms if you use your enhanced deflector to amplify the signal. The information is being sent now. Picard out. Chief. Recalibrating the main deflector to emit narrowband subspace signals, linking main deflector control to ops. Kiska, direct a broadcast hail at the planet. Aye, Commander. Sovereign to Commander Data. Sovereign to Commander Data. Sovereign to Commander Data. Please respond. No, no. Sorry, Commander. I'm not sure we're even cutting through the interference created by the ion storms. Perhaps we should increase power to the sensor array.
yeah. Oops. Yes, sir? Der. Captain? Sovereign to Commander Data. Sovereign to Commander Data. Please. Data to Sovereign. I am receiving you. Please acknowledge. Commander, it's good to hear your voice. Are you all right? I am fine, but the shuttle took severe damage from the ionic storm shortly after landing. However, I was able to gather a great deal of information on the silicate device we located earlier. I have activated pattern enhancers. That should allow you to get a transporter lock and stabilize the matter stream to beam me aboard. Boosting power to transporters. I've patched into the pattern enhancers main buffer. I have a lock on Commander Data. The stream should be stable enough for transport. Bringing him aboard now. Incoming message from the Enterprise, sir. On screen. Excellent work, Captain. However, to be prudent, we should move out of the area before more Cardassian reinforcements arrive. I will organize a security and retrieval force to hold Alioth and salvage useful parts of the Kessok device. You should return to Starbase 12 to card out. How are they going to salvage anything considering only data can get down there? What I'd like to know. Thank you for coming to my aid. You must excuse my untidy uniform. That's quite all right. Welcome aboard, Commander. Captain, I am relaying the good news to Admiral Liu now. Incoming message, sir. It's the Admiral. On screen, Ensign. Captain, we are delighted that you were able to find Commander Data and secure the alien device. Well done, indeed. Commander Data, were you able to discern anything about this technology and its application in the time you were on the planet? Yes, Admiral. The device comprises a silicate polymer base with intricate optronic nodes interlaced throughout its structure. It is a fascinating design in that... Commander, I'm sure it's intriguing, and we do intend to study the artifact more extensively at a later date. But what can you tell us of its application? Ah, yes. Its main function seems to be to regulate the process of fusion in a star by resonating the natural levels of radioactive isotopes within its core. Then it effectively increases the amount of radiation emitted by a star? Precisely. That is its primary function. However, it would seem that many crude and sloppy modifications were made to the alien device, causing it to hyper-accelerate the fusion within the Vesuvi star. The modifications to the device were effected using control rods of known Cardassian design. So the Cardassians were meddling with this alien device and didn't know what they were doing? That would be a logical assumption considering the facts at hand. The destruction of the Vesuvi star may have been caused by a miscalculation on their part, which would explain their interest in keeping others from knowing what occurred. Commander, could the Cardassians be in possession of any more of these devices? Quite possibly. There was a highly complex language engraved on the outside of the device. I was unable to completely decipher its meaning, though it appears to contain a numeric designation indicating this device is one of many such probes. Can these devices be detected in any way? I believe they can. While studying the optronic nodes within the device, I was able to predict that it would generate a field of antiprotons when activated. Antiprotons are not a natural byproduct of solar fusion, and their presence near a star would be an indication that such a device is in use. Commander Data, I will relay your findings to our long-range scouts. We must locate these weapons before they are put to use again, this time with intent. Proceed immediately to Starbase 12, Captain. Liu out. I'm gonna have to anyway. Yes, Captain? Your fucking experimental torpedoes blew up Course my laid in. Launchers. Aye, aye. Leaving orbit. <clears throat> there we go, episode 8. Personal Log, Commander Data. Stardate 55416.1. The Kessok device was remarkably intact despite the impact of its landing and the harsh conditions of Alioth 6. If only my shuttle had held as well, I could have saved the Sovereign the trouble of my rescue. The device should provide much needed information. However, the logic of the machine itself is somewhat illogical from what I've discovered so far. An in-depth analysis should prove extremely interesting.
Incoming message from Admiral Liu. Docking sequence initiated. Captain, yes, it is Captain? evident from Commander Data's report that these alien devices pose an extreme hazard to all Federation colonies in the area. We cannot maintain a presence here while these weapons exist. Therefore, your orders are to locate and destroy these devices. Admiral, the devices are mobile and capable of warp. Finding them will be a challenge. Exactly for that reason, Commander, I'm extending your assignment on board the Sovereign. You will be most helpful in finding more of the devices. Also, continue your research of Kesak technology. The more we know about it, the better. Understood, Admiral. I'm assigning the USS Geronimo and USS San Francisco to your task force. Captain, I cannot stress enough the importance of this mission. The Federation's hopes lie with you. You out. Incoming message from the Geronimo. Your On chief screen. engineer has sent us details of the damage. Our repair crews are ready to go. Captain, I apologize for the phased plasma torpedoes. The research indicated they were much more stable than they actually are. This incident will send the design team back to the drawing board. Since they did not cause critical damage, you may keep your remaining phased plasma torpedoes. But Captain, be careful. Liu out. We're standing by, Sovereign. Ready when you are. San Francisco standing by, Captain. It's a huge area of space, Captain. Where do we start? As I pointed out earlier, Commander, the Kassuk probes emit a high concentration of anti-protons while in yes, use. Yes, sir. I am afraid that is the only real lead we your have. Your orders, Captain. Chief Brex, if you modify your sensors, you may be able to get more accurate readings in the upper EM band. The devices will only emit anti-protons while in use, so we should concentrate our search near the stars of this sector. Chief. Already on it, Commander. Done. Go ahead, Miguel. Captain, long-range sensors are picking up unusually high concentrations of anti-protons in the Reha system. It could be one of the devices. Sir, I've added the coordinates for the Reha system to the con. Initiating scan. I'm not finding anything new, Captain. Perhaps you should try scanning again from one of the other systems. Hailing frequencies open. Course laid in. Business before pleasure, Captain. We'll have a tete-a-tete -tete after this mission is over. Okay, this must be the, the point where he starts cracking wise. Hailing frequencies open. <coughs> Lead the way, Sovereign. Or I missed it. Hailing frequencies open. <laughs> Stop me if you've heard this one. Two Bajoran women walk into a pub on Risa. Stop. <laughs> Kiska, I wanted to hear that. Too bad. Hailing frequencies open. Lead the way, okay, Sovereign. I guess that's probably it. Maybe there, there might be others. I don't really remember, but whatever. Aye, aye. Don't want to take too long. <coughs> Captain, I am detecting anti-proton emissions near the local sun. I can't get any discernible yes, readings, Captain? though. Can you get a more precise location? Not at this range, Commander. There's too much interference. Captain, I'm picking up two Kessok ships and a Cardassian galore. Yes, sir? Yes, Captain. The Kessok have detected us and Red are moving to engage. Red alert, shields up. The galore is remaining behind. Hmm. Captain? What's that galore Engaging to? to destroy, If we Captain. can disable them, we might be able to ask that question. Yes, sir. Moving into attack range. Your order, sir. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Stop. 
sir, we are draining their top shield. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Target hull integrity at 75%. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Sweeping through phaser arcs. The RAS shield has failed, Captain. Oh, he doesn't have impulse injuries. He's unable to move. Target hull integrity at 20%. Moving into attack range. Excuse me. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Well, no shit. Their hull is Lining severely up forward damaged, Lining forward torpedo sir. tubes. Disengaging IR. Nothing but junk. All right, let's get to it. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Moving into attack range. Target hull integrity at 50%. Moving into attack range. Captain, the last Kessok ship has been destroyed. Let's see about that galore now. <coughs> Sweeping Sir, we are draining their top shield. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Yeah, see, I don't know why he didn't... Moving launch, into attack range. Launch the aft torpedoes there, because he's pointed right at him. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Their top shield has failed. Moving into attack range. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Disengaging, Captain. Galore has been destroyed. Captain, there is an object decloaking nearby. On screen. Look at that. It's the Keswick device. Captain, it's using a Romulan cloaking device. Engaging Why to destroy the Romulan. Captain. Auxiliary the power is at 50%. The I assume the Cardassians acquired Your orders, it from Captain. another source. The Your cloaking order, system sir? was drawing energy from the Galore. Destroying the Galore severed the link. The device appears to be powering up to direct a pulse of high-energy plasma directly into Captain, the sun. Their forward there are shield no has signs failed. of external or internal weapons. Well, that's not very reassuring. We've seen what one of these things can do to a solar system. Target hull integrity Even if we don't know how it does what it does, we can just take it out. Can't we? That's the problem, Chief. I'm not sure where to lock our phasers. I can't detect any vulnerable areas. We could increase pulsers. We might be yes, able sir? to penetrate the shielding and get a better idea of the inner workings Your of orders, this thing. Captain? Initiating scan. Captain? Our scan is not penetrating the device. Perhaps we should try increasing power to the sensors. Shut up. Initiating scan. Yes, Captain? Scan successful. Commander Data, what do you make of this? Interesting. 
These scans are going to take some detailed analysis. However, I believe it is safe to destroy this device. But aren't we risking destroying Moving the entire system with range. it? I trust Commander Data's assessment. I have isolated the device's Target hull integrity systems. at 25%. If we focus phaser fire on the warp core, I believe we can neutralize it. Lieutenant Savali, I have transferred the new targeting information to you. Received. I've targeted Target the device's hull integrity warp core. at 20%. Ready to fire on your command, Captain. Main power is at 50%. Target hull has been breached, Captain. Disengaging. Your orders, sir? Captain? Yeah, we definitely have to reload. <clears throat> Captain, the device has been destroyed. Captain, I will update Starfleet with our current findings. We should continue our search. Captain, now that the device is destroyed, our scans may be able to pick up more distant anti-proton emissions. Yes, yes Captain? Captain. Initiating scan. Sir, I'm picking up more anomalous readings near the Sebelrai system sun. I think we may have found another one of the devices. I've entered the coordinates for Sebelrai into the navigational computer. Your orders, Captain. Yeah, we're gonna go reload. Course dude. laid in. Yes, sir. I took a lot of shit. Your orders, Captain. Docking sequence initiated. Hello, Captain. Yes, Captain? Yeah, I'm gonna tell them to dock and get everybody Sending to orders. They have acknowledged the command. Captain? Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. And this is getting kind of long, so. Not, well, I mean, not that long, I guess, but you know. I'm debating whether or not I should just go ahead and finish this, like right now or not. Captain? Okay. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Your orders, Captain. Initiating scan. Yes, Captain? Captain, yes, sir. I am detecting anti-proton emissions near the yes, local Captain? sun. I can't get any discernible readings, though. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Captain, I'm reading a second Kessok device. We're in luck. They didn't bother cloaking this one. They didn't have to. I'm also reading half a dozen Kessok vessels. Is Your there order, any more sir? good news? Yes, sir. Well, our odds are pretty Your slim orders, against Captain? that many Kessok warships. Perhaps we can evade them long enough to destroy the device Engaging they are Engaging to destroy, Captain. Your Whatever orders, we Captain? do, we should do it fast. The Kessok have just noticed us and are turning to intercept. The heavy cruiser is staying back. Your orders, sir? They're coming at us in waves. They're locking weapons. We have to get past the defensive line. Moving into attack range. Oh, and by the way, that's a clue. The heavy cruiser leaning back. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. <coughs> huh. 
sweeping through phaser arcs. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Moving into attack range. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Uh, you gonna shoot him or what, dude? Come on. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. <coughs> you mean drinking with Captain McRae or what? I mean, that would explain a lot. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Moving into attack range. I mean, he's taking a bit of a beating, but, you know. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Falling back for an attack run. There's Captain McCray getting all shot up and shit. The background. Moving into attack range. Target hull integrity at 75%. Falling back for an attack run. Disengaging. Yes, sir. The solar device has been destroyed, Captain. Can we go now? We might not have to. The Kessok appear to be fleeing. Sovereign, the Kessok ships are warping out of the system. The Geronimo is hailing us. On screen. Oh, do you see that, Sovereign? We chased yes, them Captain? all. Yes, we noticed. Running like the yes, cowards sir. they are. With their tails yeah. tucked between their Red legs. Red alert, shields do up. Do Kessak have tails? Actually, they fought with determination okay, until the device was left? destroyed. That may have meaning. But what, sir? I do not know. The Kessak are highly intelligent. There is method to their strategy. Okay, no, there's not. Yes, sir? Somehow, I do not believe Cancel cowardice Red is alert. their motivation. Yes, Captain? Miguel. Can we track the Kessok ships? No. Sorry, Commander. The warp signatures Captain? are being masked by some kind Ouch. of magnetic field left behind by their ships. All my readings are scattered. They're gone. We should continue our search. And you can see the damage done to the warp core, how I can't use some of the power because it's been hurt. Yes, sir. Initiating scan. <laughs> sir, I'm getting faint anti-proton readings. I'm not sure, but they could be coming from the Belarus system. It might be worth checking out. Captain, I've transferred the coordinates for Belarus to the Khan. Yeah. Your I'm orders, Captain. Gonna play it safe. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Pretty sure I remember what happens here, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't particularly want to waltz into a system with, you know, that much damage. Your orders, sir. Docking sequence initiated. <coughs> I know this is exciting. Unfortunately, it's not skippable. And for the sarcasm impaired, that was obviously sarcasm. Welcome back. Yes, sir. Okay, how do these guys look? Well, they're not hurt, but I do want... Your uh, orders, Captain. Channel open. No, oh, I didn't want to hail him, damn it. Lead the way, Sovereign. Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. San Francisco only has photons, so they should be fine. But... 
<laughs> Geronimo, like, you know, the Sovereign, carries both photons and quantums. And I want him to stay on quantums. Okay, so we are... Your orders, Captain. Belarus. Course laid in. Yes, sir. <laughs> <coughs> Captain? Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Here we go. It is I'm not picking up any contacts, Captain. But the nebula ahead is so large it could be hiding an armada of Kessok ships. And we wouldn't know it until we ran into them. Miguel, are you certain the anti-proton radiation is coming from this system? Yes, Commander. It's unmistakable from this distance. I'd be willing to bet the third Kessak device is hiding somewhere in that nebula. We can do a pattern search of the nebula to see what we can find. Miguel, you're in the crow's nest. Commander? Crow's nest is a nautical term from ancient Earth. Translation, you're on the lookout. Oh, aye aye, Commander. Kiska, plot a course that will take us in a search pattern through the nebula. Yes, Commander. Done. Ready to enter the nebula on your order, Captain. Go do it. Yes, Captain? Yes, sir. Yes, sir? Captain? Captain, I've detected a large object ahead. Is it the Kessok device? We need to get closer to identify it, but the anti-proton radiation is definitely getting stronger. Sir, Kessok warship ahead. Preparing to maneuver. Captain, this ship is the same heavy cruiser that fled from us at Sevilrai, and there's a solar device next to it. The Kessok is not moving. Dead in space? No, she's armed and powered. I can't detect any damage to their systems. The Geronimo is hailing us. On screen. We have a clear angle of fire on the Kessok warship, Sovereign. We can take it out. I have the Kessok ship targeted, Sovereign. Standing by. This looks like a chance to kill two birds with one stone. The Kessok shields are down. Why doesn't she do something? Not being fired on is good. But suspicious. They're responding. On screen. You must open my awesome tongue. Send us so many Commander, guns. can you clear up the speech? With the knowledge I gained from studying the Kessok device, I should be able to enhance the translation. One moment. Gado, submit your off tech, Captain. Now, it sounds upset. I saw her waking. Done. The Kessok's speech will clear in a moment. Send your silicon captain to us at once. I will wait, but not long. I'll... Silicon captain? Do they mean you, Commander Data? I believe so. Fascinating. Captain, I am willing to transport to the Kessok ship and attempt a peaceful first contact. Captain? Out of the question, sir. We know nothing of their intent. Nevertheless, it is a risk I am willing to take. Your decision, Captain? I believe you have made the right choice, Captain. I will report to the transporter room. Now, you can choose just to blow them away, and it does affect at least the last battle. Because in the last battle, you choose the two companions that are going to go with you. I trust your instincts are right about this, Captain. Back in my hand. <clears throat> the transporter room reports they are standing by. Your orders, Captain? Commander Data is in the transporter room. Energizing? He is now aboard the Kessok ship. No signs of hostility from the cruiser. No signs of life from the cruiser either. 
Keep a lock on his comm badge and prepare to bring him back at the first sign of trouble. The first sign of trouble was when we found the Kessok ship. Well, I suppose there's nothing to do now but sit, sit wait, wait, and, and hope, hope for the, for the best. best. Yes, quite. I don't like this feeling in my gut. Maybe you should have passed on the Vulcan Trone Souffle for lunch. A little indigestion is only natural. Gentlemen, I prefer complete silence when I'm biting my nails. Audio from Commander Data's comm badge. It's a little garbled. Clearing up and patching through. Data to Sovereign. I am on the bridge of the Kessok ship and have encountered no hostility from its crew. Thank goodness. We had an unusual development. There were no life signs that could be read because our sensors are geared to read carbon-based life forms. The Kessok are silicon-based life forms? Indeed. I've been communicating with the captain of this vessel. It has taken an interest in me as I have a number of silicon components. I've been able to open a dialogue with him. Please report, Commander. I believe a face-to-face -face conversation would be of more benefit. One moment, please. Sir, this is Captain Neblus. It was initially very nervous, not certain what to expect from us. I reassured it and explained our chain of command. Also, I have perfected the Kessok speech translation. Neblus would now like to address you. Greetings, Captain. I have long urged this meeting on my government. They have been too reliant solely on Cardassian contact for information. Then you speak for the Kessok government. Sadly, no. I have ascertained that Captain Neblus is a respected leader, but with a reputation as a free thinker. A rebel? A maverick? Just so. Neblus suspected Cardassian motives when the Kessok were first discovered by them. The Federation was painted as the enemy, who would enslave and exterminate the Cardassians and the Kessok. We wished only to be left to develop our colonies in isolation, but the Cardassians convinced my government we were in danger of being subjugated for our technology. The solar devices? Solar forming platforms. They alter the radiation of a sun to make systems more hospitable for colonization. How did the Cardassians get them? I believe the Cardassians manipulated and lied to us. They used us to help rebuild their fleet, claiming they would protect us. I questioned my government as to why the Cardassians never patrolled areas essential to our people. The ships we built for them are controlled by the Cardassian called Matan. Matan. It always comes back to him. He would allow no communication between my government and your federation. This seemed folly to me, so I decided to arrange a meeting with you. Since you did not take advantage of my ship's lowered shields, I know I have made the right decision. Our orders are to destroy the devices. I will allow you to examine this device and ascertain its application for yourself, but it must remain in my custody. We rely Captain. on these devices for the welfare of our people. Forgive me, sir. Can we trust a Kessok? You are wise to be cautious, Commander. However, I believe we may give Neblus the benefit of the doubt. There is no evidence that it is trying to deceive us. With respect, sir, you keep calling Captain Neblus it. Is it... the Captain... female? The Kessucks seem to be unconcerned with gender differences, Ensign. And now is not a good time to ask for definitions. Captain, I will examine the solar device on this ship. With Neblus' help, I should be able to learn much more. While we're waiting, this would be a good time to contact Starfleet and tell them what we've learned of the Kessok. Initiating scan. Yes, sir? I'm not finding anything new, Captain. Reporting our status to Starfleet. Stand by. 
Admiral Liu is responding. Great job, Captain. I'm overjoyed that we've made peaceful contact with the Kessak. And frankly, I'm relieved that you didn't follow my orders to the letter by destroying all the devices. Incidentally, I contacted the Romulan government to inform them we found one of their cloaking devices in the hands of the Cardassians. They admitted to losing two cloaking devices. There's no telling if or where the other may turn up. Drawing. After Commander Data has completed his research, please extend an invitation for Captain Nebulus to join us at Starbase 12. We have a lot to talk about. Liu out. Message from Data. He's ready to come back now. Brex. Yes, Commander. Energizing. He is on board now. We should head back to Starbase 12. Yep, I think I'm going to go ahead and hit this checkpoint, and uh, <clears throat> tomorrow will be the final mission. There's literally only one left, so that should wrap this thing. So, all right. Yes, that, sir. We are going to head back. Course laid in. Sir, we must leave the nebula before we can initiate oh, warp. Bullshit. If I told you, tell you to go back to the fucking base, then that means, you know, fly out of the goddamn nebula. Yes, sir. Fucking have you scrubbing the toilets on this ship, bitch. And she can fucking help you. Yeah, sadly, the crew does not show a lot of initiative, except in certain points. Yes, sir. Hey, you might ask, how do they know where Starbase 12 is? Well, they've already attacked it once, so, you know. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Now, that should be a save point. Yeah, there we go. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Get it up, fuck. Tomorrow is the next episode, or the final episode.